Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we got into a little bit of shenanigans, big surprise. We got into some trouble with uh, some country folks living outside of town, the Murphy Brood. They did make some reasonable requests though, I would say, arguably. They told us that they don't really come naturally to outsiders, they don't like outside folks, yet we decided we insisted on camping right outside their territory and so they approached us while we were setting up our campsite and whatnot and chilling out. Which, I mean, is is respectable. We would do the same thing if people approached Horseshoe Overlook and decided to camp within, you know, 100 meters of the place. We would be like, what the fuck you doing here? You know, what's going on? So that's pretty respectable. I don't know if we like them still yet or not, but I feel like if we just stay out of their way and they stay out of ours, it's not going to be a real big problem. That's just me, though. We also wandered and we found Bear Trap Guy, who I'm still not sure if that's Bear Trap Guy, the same one. And if we already rescued him, and then now we rescued him again. I just want my free gun, bro. I, I don't know. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. And then um, we also ran into our ragtag group of circus folk who have this weird toxic relationship with this mother figure in the center and then the two of them branching off. Which, I mean, I don't know. They're all toxic towards each other, so maybe it's symbiotic. Negative plus a negative plus a negative equals... I'm not a mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that still equals a negative. Nonetheless... It was a really fun episode. I had a darn tooting time, as per usual. And I'm appreciating all of you guys' comments as we continue this journey into the into the unknown, into Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, a lot of funny comments talking about how you guys are enjoying the journey. You're glad I'm taking my time. Also, that I'm not going to finish this game till 2050. Whatever. I'm also getting a lot of questions on my my skills and people saying like, how is she still so bad at this game? We're enjoying it, but how? How many times do I have to say I have not played games? I am not a huge gamer. This does not come naturally to me. It's like telling a giraffe to climb a tree. It can probably do it eventually, but it's gonna take me a hot minute. Also, I don't sit around gaming all the time. Not only am I not used to it, because I didn't grow up gaming, but also, your girl has a full-time job in the military, and I'm getting my master's degree. I don't just sit around practicing my fucking dead eye shots. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and telling me all these tips and advice and just being here, because that's the whole point, just having a good time and playing games together. And eventually, I will incrementally get better at the game. That's kind of what happened with The Last of Us. It's like, you don't even notice it, but if you somehow eventually get better at a game, whether you try to or not, playing it enough will get you there. So that's where we're at. I am just here to hang out, have a good time, play some video games. I'm not trying to perform for you guys. I'm not out here trying to become an expert marksman, an expert trapper. By the way, I have an expert marksman ribbon IRL from actually shooting real guns. So I will not be swayed by all the haters saying I suck because I already know that. <laughs> And that's part of the fun. That's part of the point of seeing a new gamer experience this for the first time. So, rant over. I, well, I'm not actually mad. I just wanted you guys to know that I hear you. I've heard your complaints to the HR department. It's me. I'm the HR department. And I've decided that I don't care. And I'm going to continue playing this game and being bad at it until we get better. Amen. That's all I got for you. Oh, I've got my coffee. I'm ready for chaos. Let's get into it. We've got a nice pumpkin hazelnut coffee today. I'm feeling the spicy vibes. Listen, you guys roast me all the time in the comments. Not all of you. Some of you are angel babies that are just nice to me all the time. But a lot of times... I just get roasted. I'm allowed to clap back every once in a while. Where the heck am I? This is scary. I still have this bison pelt. Lol. Oh, I am like... Temporary horse. I am like in the middle of... Nowhere. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna ride through... Billy Midnight. We're gonna go down there, take a little detour. And then we're going to ride up to John Marston. Them's the, them's the works. Them's the plans. That's what we're doing. 
I did want to give Princess some food because she's looking skinny. Also, after all this time, can you guys really tell me you're not bonded to Princess like I am? That's part of the reason I'm taking my time. Like, what you guys see is what you get. I am not playing offline at all. At all. So, um, all of you, like, literally you guys are seeing every single minute that I'm playing this game. Which is kind of a really neat thing if you think about it. Like, you're seeing the entire game played through my eyes. I'm not doing any side questing on my own. I'm not doing any exploring on my own. You guys are getting the 110% Irelia playthrough through my eyes. The moin! Hi, horsey! Howdy, partner. Oh, it's a pig. Whoa, my bad. Just pull this gun on this random guy. Ooh. I was just thinking the other day offline because now this game has taken, uh, my brain, even when I'm not playing, taken over. <laughs> um, honestly, if something happens to Princess, I'm gonna be distraught. I'm gonna be devastated. I keep horse revivers strapped on me at all times. Cause I don't know what I would do. I would be so sad. I know we just like fall off mountains all the time and stuff, but. Oh God, is this the. Okay, just a random shack area. I would be devastated, and you know what's sad about that? I'm not even into the main story. Really. Like, I haven't really done too much. It hasn't been sad. I haven't cried at all. We haven't lost any characters, but like, if my horse dies, I'm gonna be so sad. All right. I hear shooting. Nothing? No! Oh. Otis Miller and the boy from New York. Interesting. Oh! A book for our little boy! Good thing I stopped over here. Is there anything in the chimney? Nothing. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Ginseng! <gasps> Good haul, boys. Yeah. Well, that was really cool. Is that a little baby piggy? Did it just die? Is it a possum? Oh, is it playing dead? Oh my god, that's awesome! Awesome possum. Awesome. 
Whoops. Oh my god! Also, someone in the comments... Uh... Told me... We were talk- we were discussing the most efficient way to kill things and like get a good rating. And I know you guys have told me over and over, make sure you check your compendium to see like the best weapon to use for the best animal, whatever. But someone said the best way to kill an animal is to lasso and stab them, no matter what it is. And that's the kind of shit- oh. Ill with sin. That's the kind of shit I like to see. So y'all are gonna catch me stabbing the shit out of some random animals for the rest of the playthrough. Just be ready for it. I don't know how accurate this is, but... Whoa. Empty town, I found. Super weird. Is that stuff in the trees? Dreamcatchers? Aw, oh, man. This is really pretty, though. Like, this... Scary atmosphere. Oh my gosh, it's so spooky scary! I feel like I'm gonna see a ghost. I'm hanging around a graveyard at night. I keep hearing weird noises. Stay out, plague. I'm not a fan. Hey there, girl. Just gonna get my lantern out. Why is the music so scary? Okay. What the fuck? You ain't got no business being here. I ain't here to cause trouble. Oh yeah, real clever. Get out of here, fool. What's going on here? What is that? Person. Just a random stranger? What's going on? Oh fuck, there's witnesses. I gotta go. Okay, girl. I don't even know what- I don't even know what that was for, but that guy looked like pale. I was a little bit scared. He looked like he had the blood drained out of him. My red flags were going off. Interesting. Good girl. I should take night rides more often. They're definitely scary, but they're kind of fun. I feel like we're gonna see some shit. We're out at night. Oh, 
Oh, it's because we were in the Lemoyne, like, area. Of course we were gonna see some scary shit. Heckin' Bayou. You guys ever had Cajun food? Some etouffee? Gumbo? I'm a southern girl, that shit slaps. Southern girl from Ukraine. Now what is this? Oh no, wait a minute, is this a fence? 3.54 AM. Hmm. Hi, Jinky. Hmm. Store, gunsmith. Stagecoach. That would be a fun way to travel. We should try that. I think that's why I like this game so much. It brings me back to the South. They did such a good job of, of encapsulating, like... I mean, obviously the architecture, because it's... old... columns and... the brick and everything. Like, the architecture, the climate, the sounds with all the little bugs... the rain and... the accents. Hello. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. <laughs> Imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. The bar car. I also need to mail my. You want that old soap? You'll find them on this one. Oh snap! I'm excited. There's the bar. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one said it. I shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way. Not a problem. I'm here. You good, buddy? Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me. Get away from me, Mr. Midnight. Uh. Oh shit. I love the seamless transitions in this game from a uh, cutscene to game. I knew you'd come for me! It weren't my fault! I knew! Now, you don't know nothing, Mr. Midnight! I wanna talk! Don't do something foolish! Oh, Lord. You come for me! Come on! Oh, shit. Let's try that again. Uh, huh. Again! Am I not supposed to kill him? Oh. Dude, what a beautiful sunrise.
I need to take his pistol. Them. Is that too much to ask for? Poor soul. They've got the exact same stats. This one's slightly better fire rate. I'll just go with these. Wee! Yoohoo! Princess! <sighs> oh, I'm a little muddy. My girl! Flower. Queen. I'm gonna go. Ch I'm gonna go uh, chase that train and jump back on and get my weapon back. Come on, buddy. We're almost there. All I need to do is swap my cargo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck this shot, sawed off shotgun. <laughs> I want more pistols. I just like it because it's collectible. I can like put it in my house. Come on, girl. We're in Saint Denis. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. It's gonna make a stop. He's gotta make a stop. He's gotta make a stop. There's a train station. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh my god, we caught it! Didn't expect to see that. There he is. I see his body. I see it! Fuck! Why am I- why is this a crime? I just want my gun back. God damn it. How is this a crime? I was legally on this train. Where's my gun? God damn it. All that work. Mind how you go. a problem with me? Sorry, I'm just trying to get to the post office. Take a ride. Jesus. Good morning to you, mister. Morning to you. Good morning, mister. You remind me of a fella I used to know. Hmm. Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. I'll be seeing you. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. I bet you back up and try this again. Take it easy. I'm just leaving. <laughs> That's what I thought. Disturbing the peace? Bye. What? Hold on. That's a crime? For disturbing the peace? Dude. Crime reported. 
Disturbing the peace? Are you shitting me? Wanted. Arthur Morgan. Investigating. God. Freaking damn it. Hey there, mister. Morning, sir. All I wanted to do hey, was friend. greet and antagonize. Good morning to you. Hello. Good morning, sir. Hey, partner. Buenos días, señor. Buenos días, señor. Hey, Doble hey. ruin my good flow. Hey, mister. How's things? Good convo? Hey, yo. Good morning to you. Sir. Sorry. I still need to see our friends perform here in Saint Denis. Oh my gosh, am I welcome back at the post office yet? I need to see if I have a bounty for a disturbing the peace. So sorry. Man couldn't take being talked to. Lord. Oh, he's still here. Title tale. Bien bonjour, in just a moment. Bien bonjour, monsieur. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. Okay, no bounty. I was just being an asshole. Cool. Thanks, mister. That's what we like to see, boys. My cousin just signed up and went off to be an army man. My cousin just signed up and went off to be an army man. What is this? Photo studio? Okay. Maybe they're at the show. I wanted to hear the rest of the story. Don't stop on my account. I too once signed up to be an army man. Alright. Come here, princess! Oh yeah, back that ass up. Okay. Come here, girl. You're being as problematic as your father. We need to beef Arthur up. Is there like a bar? There's gotta be a bar. We're in Saint Denis. General store, butcher, trapper, fence, doctor, the tailor. Hmm. Let's go to the general store. Maybe they've got different wares than we've got at ours. Maybe. And then we'll go see the show and then we'll uh, head back up to our main storyline. Howdy, partners. Whoa! Jesus. Oh, first time. Come on in. Take a look. Got some local cheddar. If you're interested. Local cheddar. Be fine. Looking to sell. All right, what do you have? Nothing that I want to sell. Now, let me just look in here. Fresh food. Oh. You buy that for princess, right? Buy some cheese, mm -hmm. tenderloin, oat cakes for the horsey as well, mm. some bread. Nice. I still want to try robbing a store. I haven't done that yet. Although I don't really like doing crime because it makes me feel naughty. Wow, this is so pretty. Um. Oh, 
Bye bye. We should also get a haircut. It's about that time. Everybody. Yeah, rock your body. Whoa. I'm so sorry. I just like killed that person. Hey, mister. All these buildings, what is this? It's a church. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Mister? Dude, all I have to do is greet like 10 people and it makes up for murder. <laughs> There's literally no food in this town. Can't beat this weather. Hey, folks. Hello. Hey there. You on something? What? Hey, ma'am. Uh, buenos dias. So much culture here. There's at least two other languages. Just wish today was over already. Ay, que lastima. Ay, que lastima. What a shame. Come on in. Let's cut my hair, shall we? Ah, Keeping it short. I'm a military girl, what do you want from me? People are like, wow, she's really got a style, doesn't she? I'm a middle, I'm a military girl. This is just what I'm used to. Everyone looks like this. You won't get a part sharper than that. Double fork chin. Spartan? <laughs> oh, Brigadier. I will potentially at some point try to experiment. You. Trying to grow out that handlebar. Same old troubles. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I say you look ready for a portrait now. There we go. I just want the curly mustache. Please tell your friends about this. Hey there, pardon. Good morning. Gosh, I love this game. Can I go in here? What's over here? Good morning. Good morning, sir. It's a random like cafe area. Wow. Okay. Madam, back here. Good morning to you. Hey, folks. Hey. Buy my book. Read my book. Do exactly what I say and you'll be rich. Rich, rich, rich. 
Top hats, the finest canes, expensive cigars, a wife with soft hands. Wow. Servants, How much does that cost me? A summer house by a northern lake. It's all there for you, all of it and more if you're man enough to take it. I'm man enough. I'm man enough to stand here and make a prize dull to myself for you because I care. I care. But let me be clear. I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book. <laughs> read the book. Do precisely what I say and you'll be the man building railways. Yeah, is he done? Factories. You won't be riding the railway. You'll be owning them. Hey, move it. Morning, mister. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure. Do I'll you want to be rich? I'll be Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. I'm kind of broke right now. Am I buying this? Should I buy this? Is this a scam? Get rich quick. I'm, I'm Googling it. About it. No! Well, I want to buy it. I don't like not having the decision. We're reloading. I don't care where this puts me. I don't care. Oh, it's a random encounter, though. I might not see him again. Fuck. Okay, I'm done living with the consequences. We're gonna figure it out. It'll be fine. Everyone, don't freak out. Everyone, remain calm. Everyone, remain calm. I know a lot of you guys just got really stressed. It'll be okay. We'll find him again. Fuck. It's fine. Still got the town. Still got Billy Midnight. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'll read. I'll catch up on the journal later. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just need to get my... Saloon? There is a saloon here? Hello. Careful now. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is the rat place. I can just have a meal here. First time ever steal, mister? Morning, mister. Hello, folks. The longer you play, the more people aim for keeps. Bien, bonjour, monsieur. Nice people around here. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? I hope you're doing well there, miss. Oh, merci. Lobster bisque, prime rib. Ooh, I'm gonna get myself some prime rib. That's okay. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I drank too much. Je vous salue. Bonjour, Monsieur. Yay! Very nice, and I think our hair's still cut, so we might have missed the random encounter. Fuck. I'm only gonna have thirty dollars after this, but it's worth it. I want to do it. I'm, I'm curious. The finest canes, expensive cigars. Yay! Okay, you see, I didn't Google it and spoil it for myself. I Googled it and I was like, buy my book, Red Dead Redemption 2, and it was like, guide to making some money potentially. So I mean, why not? Yopo, you only play once. But let me be clear. I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book. Whoa. Read the book. Do precisely what I say, and you'll be the man. Building railways, opening factories. Mm -hmm. You won't be riding the railway. You'll be owning them. 
Hey, mister. Hello, friend. Sure. Do you want to be rich? I don't want to miss the oh, opportunity. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book, and cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a. I do need some money. I'm only gonna have thirty dollars. Sure. <laughs> the best investment you'll ever make, my friend. All right. I bring you knowledge from the east, the knowledge of New York. The brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the south to help those wise Send money to order. help themselves. Let me help you. Help Additional yourselves. copies. All right. I do want to read that and see what we can do. But first, I need a- I have a little whiteboard on my desk. Whoa. I will only help the white. what did that say? I have a little whiteboard on my desk. I need to write down all the things we need to do in this game. Who said that? I'm looking for Gabby. Be my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Hi <laughs> there, mister. Hello. I've seen everything now. Partner. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. Kevin's friend. You all right, girl? What? And there's a bounty hunting poster. Ooh. Hey there, Mister. Hello there. You know, there's something about this place. Anyway, can't put my finger on it. Got me. I'm just gonna pick this up real quick, you know. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. Huh? <laughs> yeah, anything else, take a seat. Hundred dollar reward. Wanted Lindsay Wofford captured dead or alive. As a leader of the Lemoyne Raiders, he's wanted for raising a militia against the state on American activities, murder, and adultery. The gang was spotted at Mossy Flats region. All reward claims to be filed and will be paid out in full by Lambert St. Denis Police Department. You going after Lindsay Wofford? I might be. Keeping the peace, that's good. I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. <laughs> All right, let's see. Are our friends here? Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about come up, so... Why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. Search rob them. Wow, this is really pretty. Is this the same one where we saw that movie about the possum hat guy? It is. I didn't really explore around. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. We love supporting our friends, don't we? Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world <laughs> than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, foreign. I have a show so fantastical. There exists nothing like it anywhere. Really? In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have be determined the ticket price should be me. very low. And the show held without a profit, to me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. This is the best. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place. Antagonize. Entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch. Presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Oh? There she is. <laughs> Without further ado, let me present Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant. Bertram, <laughs> our boy. I watched this guy eat a man alive. I've seen this man eat people. He's insane. Oh God. She warned him. Up a chicken tender. And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> wow. I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now for my next feat. I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this You're a nasty little pervert. What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. You're not like that. You're not. I give up. Amateurs. Oh my God! Go follow your brother. Well, that's our show. 
Woo! Booba! <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, tiny people and tiny headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly shaped baby, bring them to me. Jesus Christ. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly There's more the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a 10-year-old boy. Italy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved Yeah, him bathed him. him. That guy's a freak in the audience. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? Oh. My gosh, the dance. Is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Wow. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught petting my wife. <gasps> I joke. I joke. <gasps> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Are we about to watch this guy die? My sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah. Off my head. Here we go. Oh, I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Sweet Jesus. This always scares me. <laughs> My gosh. Now, observe as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. We're about to watch this man die. No way, bro. What is he doing? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Again? Oh no. Once was enough, buddy. That's it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang boulder dash. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm fine. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, 
I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own uh... and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Is no one man enough? Uh... Come on, someone stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. Oh. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? Take aim. Oh, so the fight is too much. And fire. Oh, knock his teeth down. Is just an illusion after all. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm impressed. What's next, a mermaid? Credibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He yeah. certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next oh. remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. Oh. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. Oh, <laughs> our boy Abington's been around. San Servino! Oh, sexy lady. That fire. Smoking. You're beautiful. <gasps> oh, my. You'll see this. Arthur. Ah, uh, that's so scary, even in a game. Oh lord, the finishing act? Ah! Light me up, honey. Light me up, honey. I like hot things too. <laughs> Woo! We want more. Oh, more gasoline or oil or whatever it is. She sure is 
Wow! Good job! This has been awesome! Much better than the historical films they've been showing us! Oh, wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> Incredible. What's next? Stand-up comedy? Oh, I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Too soon on the stand-up comedy bit, huh? You like that joke. Yeah. Too soon. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Oh? She got the whole gang with her. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. <laughs> the wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be She doesn't sound like she's from Poland. In a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss. Except for the inventor of the telephone. <sighs> because someone is always calling, saying, Hello. 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 I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning, you will hear me yell. He Central picks me up along the line. They can. Awesome. Hello? Hello. Your wife from Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. <laughs> Incroyable. Good job. Very Polish. She 
is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. That was wonderful. It has delayed for at least a moment. The crushing, <laughs> remorseless music of mortal coil. Good night. Dream well and come back soon. <laughs> Hopefully tonight's show has distracted you from the impending doom. The bar? My heart's on fire. Wow, what a great time. Thank you guys for spending that with me. Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. <laughs> A letter and forty dollars. What a lovely surprise. It's so sweet of you to come and see the show. Bless. I hope it is a good one for you. Audiences can be terrible here and the boys, well, they're simply thrilled to know you're in in their own special ways. Here's the cut of the proceeds you were promised. Miss Marjorie XX. Ooh, we could get it. Ooh, we could get it from Miss Marjorie, but she's just a friend. She's just a friend, y'all. <gasps> One of the laborers stealing wine from the church. Jesus! We vandalism, bro. What? Hell no. 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 That's a pony. That's a big old pony. Dude, just because I'm slow. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Okay, we did still see a show. We walked out of here. And we went... Down this way? Methinks? My bad. Ow! We're fine. I gotta help this lady. I gotta help. This is where I started hearing them talking. Come on. Was it here? Fuck, it wasn't here. Was it straight ahead? And to the right? Was it down this way? Fuck! Hopefully... I get another random... Random encounter like that, so I can help her next time. Is someone there? Mm. Oh, is someone there? Hello. There you go. There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, Mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Did I wait? I didn't get my. I didn't get my money. I only have thirty dollars from the show. Hold on. What?
Any shows to sell you on right now? We'll come back soon, though. Hmm. Do I still have my book? Get rich quick. Okay. From Mary. Hmm. Thinking about our next show. Hmm. Me too. Maybe I have to come back. That's unfortunate. Oh well, but it was still written in our journal, right? Show was interesting to say the least. I got... And also dreadful, but I got paid. Doesn't look like it, buddy! Found a fella caught in a bear trap a while back, I decided on a whim to save him, then bumped into him in town. Guy gave me some store credit as a thing. Sometimes it pays to help folk out. Got into a fight with a drunk giant with a tiny head. Yes, that's what happened. Fellow was strangling a barkeep who had turned off his liquor supply. Part of some kind of circus act. The show was run by a woman, Marjorie, I think. She's missing a tiny magician. I suppose we all are. He's running away into the woods. Said if I saw him, I'd send him back to him. Found a little magician and reunited this odd family. Fella tried to give me the slip a few times, but in the end, it seems they love each other even more than they hate each other. Or at least it was close. Want me to see their show sometime in St. Denis and say they'll reward me as they're broke right now. Here's that empty town I found. Yes, Billy Midnight never escaped his past. I was deranged about shooting some fella in the back or in the sleep or something else very sensible in my opinion. Anyway, guilt had consumed him, so like a real proper gentleman, he tried to kill me. And then we saw the show. I hear yelling. Senor? Excuse me, Clark. May bonjour. I lost $40, but I gained the opportunity to potentially save this woman in the future. What time is it? Three in the morning. Dude. I need to get back to camp and continue my heckin'. Get back to camp and continue my heckin' story quest like I promised. Something about the city at night, though. This is peaceful. In a weird... It 
It was just an apple. I wanted to help him. All he stole was an apple, and he's getting, like, his shit chewed out? Come on. That's hardly fair. Fuck. Stop it! Oh my god, there's so many. I have a $5 bounty. I'm trying not to kill anyone else. Leave me alone! You're making it very difficult not to kill people. God damn it. Something about the town is so peaceful at night. Yeah, okay. Where the hell am I? They just keep spawning. My God, so many police. Oh, my gosh. My God. It's a $5 bounty. No, my fur fell off the horse. All right. Did I need that for the camp? I lost it. It's been three days. Sorry, bud. Ow. Can I pay my bounty now? Princess, we gotta go. Whatever, we'll be back. Oh my god. We gotta go. Alright, whatever, I'll be back, I'll be back. We'll be alright. I'll be back. <laughs> I was just trying to help people at night. He just stole an apple. Get me out, get me out, get me out. You're doing great. Fuck me up, man. Go. 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 I was about to shoot him. Jesus Christ. Get out. Come on. We're almost out. Leave me alone, you crazy ass. Come on. I don't want to cut through these people's property. Fuck it. I don't want to kill another... Alright, through the bio we go, bayou we go, I guess. Dude, this police officer is not giving up. I'm just gonna start auto routing to. Jesus, John Marston's close right now. Come on. We are in the oh, trenches of the swamp right now. Fuck that guy. It's 
It's okay. Oh fuck, we gotta go. We gotta blast. God damn it. The hell? What is that? Now's not the time, but what the hell? Oh, and there's a gator. Ugh. I'll just hide out in here for a minute. This is definitely like someone's house. Princess, are you being bothered by the gators? $25. Is that from stealing? Hair tonic. Oh, you can accelerate the growth of your hair. This is a very peaceful house. Fuck no! We are not doing this shit. Quit that. <gasps> a turtle! God, I hate the gators. Whoops. Alligator snapping turtle. God. Screw that. What is this little guy? Is that a baby gator? Dude, Princess said, I'm about to yeet the fuck out of here. Smart girl. Please be careful. I need some cheese. I should have put my bandana on when I was saving that guy. I don't even know what the point of that encounter was. Come here! Like... Was I supposed to try to help the law? Would that would have made me a good guy? Like, what was the point of that whole... shebang? Oh, a snake! Copperhead and snake. Ugh. God, I hate the bayou. Fuck that. Okay. Valentine? Okay. Oh my gosh, wait. There's more? What is this? The, uh, the guy is back. The wildlife guy. Alright. Fuck that. Please don't set up a camp right on the swamp. Please don't set up a camp right up on the swamp. Okay, this is gonna go well. Even Princess is uncomfortable. She knows. I'm sorry, y'all. I really don't... I cannot be bothered to ride through the bayou again. I'm just gonna go to Valentine. We're gonna fast travel there. I'm gonna pay off all my bounties, even though I'm broke as a skunk. I literally have $30 to my name right now. But we're gonna continue the story after that. I swear it's been an hour and a half. I just got distracted, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, replace Valentine. Maybe I could also, um... Rob this guy. Maybe I could rob the store that's got the shady operation going- Oh, I missed Valentine! Hello, mister. Again! This guy! Hey, oh, God. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. Wow, what a friend! 
I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. You ever forget your name, mister? Anyway. No. No. <laughs> so it's just me. They said I was strange back in the army. And, and that's why they kicked me out. He doesn't even I remember what war he fought in. Got kicked out during a siege. While being sieged. Uh-huh. That were no fun. Okay. You done? Hey there, girl. A siege. Howdy. Morning, sir. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, uh, uh, siege. I need to do a lot of greeting. I need to do a lot of greeting to make up for the sins I've caused, but I do know where the post office is. Been here a couple times. We got to know Valentine real well. Morning. Need a ride? I can get you there. Hey, friend. Morning. Hey there. Morning, mister. Sure is some hard country around these parts. Sure is. Hey, mister. I'm so poor. I need to do some bounty hunting. I need to do some stuff, man. I got $31. 25 I can't even pay my $5 St. Denis fee. I have $6 to my name. Oh my god. Can I rob... the store? No. I said I would do the main story. But I want to rob the store! He's already commenting on my mask. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park her out back. All right, Pooch. It's all right. I'm gonna park her out back. What do you want? This is private. Get off. Hmm. What do I do? Do I just threaten the owner? I don't know. I'm gonna get a free free ball it. Sheriff's office? I'm afraid. Hold up. I'm not about to sell to you with that mask on. Just stay calm. Rob back Let room. Into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved. Oh shit, we're doing it. You. you make them open up. Or you're a dead man. <laughs> hey, uh, open up. It's me. I, uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. <gasps> yeah, it's only the duck. The Otriscals. Don't try anything funny. Oh my gosh. Thought you were that cold who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little bit. Come on, hurry up. You ain't killing me, you son of a bitch. What? You got a gun too? I was sparing the women and children and whatever. Hey, that's sexist. Fuck you too, I guess. Come on. What we got? Hurry up. Quick as crime. Come on. Hurry up. Shit. Dumb move. Item request. What did I get? Oh, pocket watch. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, I just need money. Earrings. 
Steel. A hair tonic. Oh, hell yeah. So many hats. What the hell happened? Hey. Fuck. The safe? How do I open the safe? Fuck! Can I close this door? Weapon case? What is it? Oh shit! Oh Driscoll How do I get in the safe? I looted that guy yet? The lawman? Oh, fuck. That's a fun hat. Fuck. How do I get in the safe? Oh, <gasps> money! Y'all would've been mad if I missed all this money on the table, huh? $46 bounty? Oh, shit. $50? Good thing I just found $50 on the... All right, give me a second. Two shakes. Uh, get into chess. Get into safe. Back of doctor's office. And a locked safe. Bow dynamite. Oh, I need a oh dynamite, a lock breaker. Fuck. I can do anything with dynamite, right? Do I even have dynamite? Fuck. Dynamite. Oh shit, yeah. Well, that did it. Oh, Jesus. Sorry for Googling stuff, y'all. You guys know I like figuring it out, but desperate times. Call for desperate measures. Forty-six dollars. Okay. I just need to drop her so I can rob this end table, and I think we've got everything. Oh Jesus! Nothing. All right. Safe done. Success. Uh, there's three in the front and two in the back, so I think I need to leave through the back. It's not looking great for me, but... Come on. But, it's the best we got. Alright, ready? And... Oh, I can't even go out this way? 
I can't even get out? Guess not. Alright, going through the front then. Can I get out the window? No? Fuck. so pumped with adrenaline three obstacles in 15 seconds we've got to do that eventually right oh my gosh keep going girl come on yeah. holy shit <laughs> i said i needed money okay and we need to go back to saint denis anyways we'll just greet a bunch of people it's fine what's a few murders it's fine i'm fine what's a few murders <laughs> Wanted is dropping low. We're at the T now. Yeah. T minus 15 seconds till we can go back to the post office and, uh... Chillax. <laughs> Who are these people? That's incredible. I hear you. Exhausted? Cigarette card. Don't mind me. Being a weirdo. Crawling around. Jewelry. Fuck. We've already got a bounty. Why aren't you showing your face? I can explain, partner. It's been a long day. It's been a doozy of a day. Oh, Jesus. We're fine. It's fine. We're just gonna streamline it. Oh, look at this, a little camp. I'm sure they are nice people, right? Hmm. Driscoll camp looking for trouble. Beat Relax, it. I'll back off. You can carry on. Fine. Go on home, your mom will be waiting. Whatever. I don't feel like dealing with these hoes. I just robbed their entire uh 
shady operation in the back of the doctor's office, so... Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty accomplished. Wee! Eventually I'll get this 15 seconds thing down. Eventually. It'll just happen. It keeps teasing me. It's like one out of three obstacles in 15 seconds. Alright, I see it. The beautiful bastard. 48 dollars. I need to go back to camp and pay off my heckin'... I wanted to do this main story today, damn it! I need to pay off my bounty, I need to go back to camp. Oh, hefty. I need to give the pocket watch and the, the book to our boy. Okay, then, girl. We got so many things to do! I love this game! <laughs> it keeps me busy, man! Alrighty now, where is this guy? Aim weapon. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Jesus. You. So you just lazing about him? You got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you? <laughs> she looks stupid. Some people are just open books. You'll see. That train job was a star, but we need more money. True, I'm broke now. I went shopping. Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon. It'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. True. Dutch says that we. Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. <laughs> oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. <laughs> Listen, Dutch is. But. But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. Mm. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Oh, God. I was just here. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Okay. We're picking up dynamite or something? Oh lord. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Why can't I wear yourself out now? Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm gonna have to take this on credit. Uh, well, no, wait. We ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine. You can uh, pay me later. Mm. Isn't, didn't someone say there's like a black gun holster? Ooh, upgraded. Slows degradation for all weapons by 10% permanently? Hold on, wait a minute. Now we're on to something. $34. Kind of broke, but... Hmm. Alright, alright. We'll come back to it. I need to do some gun upgrades anyways. And I need to take care of my guns. Give them some oiling down. Alright, John. We got the goods. What do you need? You good? Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? 
Bought that, gun. that was my question. I had a run in with that fella earlier. Of course you did, John. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that time. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? It's done now, ain't it? Hi, Puffy. Be so cagey about all this. He's being pretty playing. sus. Goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? Oof. You probably only run off again. Why He's a good are you boy. So interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? My life is Just everyone's do life. One thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. It you know, doesn't have to be. Anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? Mm -hmm. That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing? That must be exhausting, living two lives. There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Mm-hmm. I do know that place. We've been there. This game is so nice. This is me hanging out. With the homie. Oop, he just ran over a cactus. I just ran over a cactus. Ow. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Mm-hmm. So we want to rob him? I don't care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's mm. see what we can see from up here. Oh. Hi, Jinky. You want my coffee again? Okay. I think that's them over there. Where? What well, now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Ranchers. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. That's the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. Now what? All right, let's go round him up. We literally just spent, or spending time stealing oh, sheep. My girl. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? I don't know if this is a profitable uh, oh, usage of our time. Not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's oh my gosh. These things. Bring them back to the yards. Yeah. Yeah. Third, third, third. <gasps> we did it! Woo! All right, what are we doing with these sheep? They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Ooh. Sheep. Let's go. All right, I think we got them all. We have to protect them. You know what, Marston? 
Why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker than... Ta... Ta... Town? Didn't they say Emerald Ranch? Oh, we want to... Oh, we're going to Valentine. Wait, trust me. Oh, this is a Take whole thing. Time for you to be learning how to hurt. Okay, they are that way. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Go, little guy. Come on. Put the drop back to Valentine and ride around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. <laughs> this is so random. I feel like I'm still learning game mechanics. They're teaching me how to herd animals. They're still teaching me how to hunt, how to buy guns, how to herd animals. Little do they know I've been spending all of my free time learning the game and exploring the entire map. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Stay on the road, little ones. This is so peaceful, the music. That's it. We'll move it up. This way. Go left. Come on. We're taking them to Valentine, right? Get the fucking straggler. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, little sheepy. My gosh. <gasps> Poor little baby, come on. Go ahead. Aww. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Oh my gosh, what a haggler. Auctioneer, it's almost like it's his Sign job. Yourself, friend. Just think of it as buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. <laughs> hey, go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Oh? Let me give her a brush. She's looking dirty. Girl. I put a little distance between you and this herd if I were you. 18%. I thought we was doing the robin here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no hmm. more. Well, I never really was. That's sad. 
Oh, this saloon. All right. That's where I met the author that one time. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Orkin. Marston's thing. Good. Yeah. And? Stealing trains. Way to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> we need one after herding Nothing sheep like all night. Talking to old or day. To make you want to blow your own brain. Uh -huh. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian. Fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. <laughs> to your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here now! What the hell? Oh, Vanderland! shit. You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Oh! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Oh! Get out here before I have these men killed. Oh, shit. What do you think? Get out here, well, you I... depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. And when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I'm so dirty. I need a bath. Why not? Oh, fuck. All right. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible... Spinning mistake. the yarn. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Was that not the right time to start drawing? I'm confused. I was trying to draw. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch. Oh, Jesus. Okay, go for the two that have the guys. Let's try a different strat. Strauss and John. Who wants to be the Messiah? Is that not what... Okay, do I wait for him to talk longer? Skip checkpoint. That's a new one. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald Smith. Okay, so you can't do Deadeye. I'm confused. Who wants to be the Messiah? Okay. God damn it. I'm always getting into shenanigans in this goddamn town. God damn it. How many henchmen does this guy have? He's got a whole town of cronies. Oh 
my hat. Fire! I'm fine. Worry about yourself, Dutch. How many cronies does this guy have? Am I being shot at from behind? Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm not fine. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Never again. Never again. Poor guy. Am I putting him on my horse? Where the fuck do we're clear? Let's go. Put Strauss on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Oh snap, we're moving? Can't stick around after this. Let's go! Oh snap, we finally get a new camp? Oh my gosh. Damn it. I liked Valentine. I mean, we've definitely gotten to a lot of shenanigans here, but I liked it here. Come on, we gotta fucking go. Lawman, come on, come on, come on. Shift, shift, shift. Sprint, sprint, sprint. I know we've done our fair share of shenanigans here, but I liked it. It was quaint, it was quiet. I knew the bartender. You know? Wiener Mountains right there. Hangman's Bridge, like. So many memories. Come on. That's a pretty horse. What's it doing all alone? It's a unicorn horse. Yep. I like that horse. Can I steal it? No? Fuck! Keep going. Man with a plan. Man with a plan. I got distracted. Fuck! Run. 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 Do not lead them to the camp. Do not lead them to the camp. Don't lead them to the camp. Don't lead them to the camp. There's another random horse that's really pretty going down the mountain. Is that the same one? Why is that one all... Weirdly knotted up too. I like that one. Come on. Alright, wanted sign is flickering. Get out of the red. And we're alright. Get out of there. We're alright. We're gonna take the long way home now. Come on. 
We're all right. We're all right. My God. We should complete this. So we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look. Oh, scope it out. Anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. I and like how that. How do that? I don't know. Start dancing. Caravan. Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. Mm. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure. This can wait. All right, let's go explore our new area. I feel like this would be a really bad spot to leave off. We got to finish it. We got to find Dewberry Creek. Are we riding now? Ooh, right on the cusp of Lemoyne. Interesting. Let's go see what we got going on. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. Mm-hmm. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. True. Come here, friend. Dewberry Creek, huh? Just ride with me. Come on. So, you were saying? Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know so pretty. where we are by now. Mm-hmm. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for Minus the gators, we're probably all right. A few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. Well, There's when... too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Mm -hmm. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Mm. Which we are. We gotta keep you your chin up. Tell me. <laughs> so where does it end? Where does what end? This. The moving, the running. Mm -hmm. Dutch don't see it as running. It's our life. Call it what you want. I don't know. Eventually Before you're gonna be wanted everywhere, right? Put enough time and distance between you and the problem. Eventually it went away. Something this like that. Big country. But now with these Pinkertons. Better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. If we can't escape. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Mm. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. Now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Oh. It seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. What's that All little right. camp? I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah. The body? What we got? He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. It's me. I think I saw a camp up ahead. Let's go take a look. I did this right. in a past life. Look, <laughs> here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. But the the lanterns are lit. Hmm. I mean, it's cozy. Kinda. It's definitely not horseshoe overlook, that's for sure. You can see all the flies and it's muddy and 
Gross. Oh my. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. English? He said, are, are you okay? Uh huh, I was gonna say, because they got that blonde hair. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of here. They took our father. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. Kind of is, we're trying to steal their house. speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Don't be a dick, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Charles is a good man. He saves bison. He saves fazas. There. Good lad. Tracks. Come on. Easy. Come on. Hold. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose. We're still human. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they cut off down at to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. You now, can see is that new Saint Denis down there? Well, maybe you don't know as well as you think you do. So, what happened with those Pinkertons? Ah! My bad. What happened with those Pinkertons anyway? Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Look, they go along the shore there. I see him. What was I talking about? So, what happened with those Pinkertons? <laughs> so smooth, the transitions with the... Said they were on to us. With the dialogue. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch yet. Jesus. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Arthur! Hey. Bastards told me they killed Mac. I said it right in front of Jack. Ah. That kid... It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. True, he's got his John own family. He's going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Well, uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. With a face oh, like that? Well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So you was just talking about something? What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. You hear him? Yeah? Hey, it's quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. I love yeah. listening to them talk while we're Seems traveling. Deserted. Let's take a look. Mm hmm. Where's this guy at? Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. True. It's much easier to defend. Yeah, and prettier. Not in the trenches. Oh, Looks found him. Like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. I mean, it's a cute area.
Come here, buddy. You've wasted all my shots already. Damn, boy. Them sharp shooting skills. Did he get him? I don't see what they've left behind for us. Hello. Du bist free. You are free. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah. Okay. Bitte schön. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, <laughs> go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for. This is nice. I agree. Come here, buddy. So, what were you talking about before? All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Aww. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Yes. Ja. Oh, we're returning the father to his family. That's so sweet. The mom and the kids were just left there, thought he died. I'm too soft for this game, man. Hm? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie mm. gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. Mm. How did someone even come up with them words? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Vielen Dank. Wir haben sie gefunden. Well, I found them. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <laughs> yeah. It's really people's reaction when they're like, Oh, you speak Russian? I can barely speak English. That's so cool. Здорово. Какой класс, да? I like that spot. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Why is it... Alright, we're just gonna turn around and cut straight through. It's taking me the weirdest, wackiest way. It's literally right across this. Cut straight through the grass. It's okay, it's a horse. It doesn't need a sidewalk. We can just go boop, beeline it. We don't need to go all the way around the block. Tour all of North America, the continental U.S. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Dem Herrgott Schatz. sei Dank. Oh. 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 Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <laughs> mein oh, Herz. Wunderbar. Oh, wunderbar. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, ich hab was für Sie. Dankeschön. Bitteschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Oh. Guess it was a pleasure. This is what happens when you're a nice person. It doesn't always pay off, but you'd like to think at the end of the day, it's like <laughs> all the little wins add up. It's so sweet. You're able to help reunite a family and find a campsite. Right. Oh, this place oh, be perfect for us. Hello, I'm a softie. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. And we're not broke anymore. Take this place home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home.
me home, country road. Chapter three. Oh, I can't save. I was gonna try to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. <laughs> there we go. Completed chapter two to greener pastures. We got a gold ingot. Oh, I like this place. We can fish with Jack. I wonder if I can turn uh, the book in real quick. Here you go. Here. New horses available. That story book you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Do you want to have this? I found it in your camp. Is it gold? Thanks, Jack. Chocolate bar. Oh, what a sweet kid. And then where's Eno? I really like this place. You know? How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think? Do you? Oh, oh hey, Arthur. Hi. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Ooh. I'm just being civil, my brother. How do you mean? Well, hello there. You really are very charming. Ignore man, that. Arthur. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. Have we lost our way? I don't know. Things seem bad. Oh, man. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. Hmm. It, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. And then, it, it seems like there's just no other way, and I... I just... Listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. <laughs> Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Damn. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. Finding out the truth about how the camp is feeling. It's really interesting how the um What do you think, Arthur? Emotional climate's I don't changing. Too much thinking I was there. Killing's more my thing. It's okay, hard I'll ass. That for a second. <sighs> climate is changing in the camp. I wonder since there's a new chapter if we're gonna unlock more like dialogues and story parts and Oh, I grew some. I heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Oh, well, you're welcome. Yay! I say, uh, we've been in this game for a while today. We even grew our beard out. Hell yeah! What a good cozy place to stop. It's a good place to stop. Uh. Yeah. That was a really fun episode. We started kind of with a plan, and then we diverted from the plan, but we ended up back on the plan um, with a lot of shenanigans in between, so we kind of got ourselves in trouble in a couple ways. We tried. We tried to do good things this time, guys. We did. We really did. Try to save that woman from getting robbed and shot. Tried to save again, lost money because of it, and then we also tried to save the thief, oddly enough, because all he did was steal an apple, and it seemed like it was gonna go in a way that I was not fa I was not in favor of. But then it got us in trouble, and it got us a fifty dollar bounty on our head, and then we robbed the back of a doctor's store. Yeah, I could go on and on, but it was a very jam packed episode. And now we are in chapter three. We have a new home, a new place we can make a home, even though spirits are down in the camp right now understandably so because morale is low we're just constantly on the run people can't really settle in and make uh and feel like they're like in an actual stable environment and then we just keep losing money and 
oh my gosh it's just a whole mess so i'm excited to see where the rest of the story goes i'm getting way too attached to all these characters so hopefully nothing happens to any of them ever because video games are all sunshine and rainbows but that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya